Hey guys, Tom Reddington here. Let me talk to you a little bit about bladed jigs, my color combinations, what seems to work for me. Hey, we started fishing these things probably 10 plus years ago in Texas. The, the way guys have fished them has kind of evolved. Color really matters a lot. So the first thing, you know, everybody thinks about the skirt, obviously, but the blade has a huge impact. And kind of like spinnerbait blades, it used to be sometimes silver, sometimes gold blades, and every once in a while painted ones. The silver ones, if I'm on a shad type pattern, if it's shad spawn, if I'm fishing say around docks or something where the, the shad are up around it, silver's hard to beat. That's just kind of a natural color. Uh, really clear water, a lot of times silver's really good. For whatever reason, it seems like in the pre-spawn, or in more stained water, the gold works out better for me. I don't know why they like gold better, but that's just, and in Florida, you know, they have the golden shiners and stuff. Gold, that's my springtime color of choice. Now, the one that I'll mix in is, sometimes I want the thump of the, of the chatterbait, of the bladed jig, but I don't really want that flash. I've seen a lot of times where the, the flashy, the metallic ones won't catch them. The painted blades, the black or the green pumpkin, this thing is a hammer a lot of days. You wouldn't think it'd make a big difference, but it does. It looks more like a swim jig because they're not seeing it as much, but you're still getting that thump. It's Fisher pressured. If it's really bright and kind of post frontal, that's when those painted blades seem like they really work. You're not necessarily calling attention to them, say like a spinner bait, like that orange kicker blade or something. It's, it's more masking the bait. So that's when I'll go with the, the painted blades. Now colors. There again, if it's a shad spawn, really clear water, that's when the translucent skirts, the real see-through are gonna be pretty good. The green glimmer, blue glimmer, you know, those are king then. If it's more overcast in that clear water, a bright white so they can help see it, you know, just straight white, hard to beat. Now, if I have a little bit of color to the water, that's when I add some color to my skirt. The chartreuses and stuff, the dingier it is, the more I'll add chartreuse, maybe orange. And then if I get in really dark water, that's where the black, the black skirts really come in. Black, blue, uh, in Florida a lot of times guys win on that in that tannic water. And same with any time you get muddy water, that black blue is hard to beat. Green pumpkin's a really natural color. Hey, it works for warm fishing. It works on bladed jigs too. So when in doubt, go with something really natural. You can use this pretty much anywhere. Add a little bit of color to it. And you have a contrasting trailer. Hey, if I want something that blends in, I'll go with a, a natural, you know, all shad pattern something like that. If I want some contrast, I can take that green pumpkin, I'll throw in a little bit of purple, or maybe throw some orange something in there just to spike it a little bit, kind of look like a bluegill or something, grab their attention, so you can really play with it. Experiment with your, your colors with the different blades. You'll be surprised how much it makes a difference. And hey, blade jig catches big ones, so give it a try.